Today is going to be a good day. <laughs> we are set up before sunrise on a beautiful lake. Is it Saskatchewan or Saskatchewan? Or neither of those. Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan? Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Yeah, Saskatchewan. Yeah. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. We're there. We're right there, guys. That's my co-host today, or maybe the main host, and I'm the co-host. Welcome to the Frostbite YouTube channel, and we're after big walleyes. And we're also... Do they know who you are? They, they know who you are. They don't know who I am. They can't see my face. There's too much smoke in here. It's not Aaron. We don't care. <laughs> Today's goal is, is to show you guys what Clayton and myself like to use for walleyes as far as rods go, and hopefully catch some fish topside. We are, yeah, out here, ready to go. We've got the lights on in the shack. It's completely dark outside. We drove out here in darkness to hopefully get on some big walleyes in prime time. Stay tuned. We're getting the shack all set up. I'm going to go get a haircut, and then we'll, we'll start this episode. What are you trying to do to me in here? Yeah, ooh. Hand me your favorite walleye rods. The rods incoming. Prime time only in the mor or in the afternoon, or is it morning and afternoon? Morning and afternoon. Okay. Like, is it two hours after sun sunrise and two hours before? Sunset? You know when prime time is? Prime time is whenever the big fish bite. Can happen at 9.30, it can happen at 10.30, can happen at 1.30, can happen at 5.30. So, prime time is all the time. Prime time is the right time. <laughs> no! Let's catch some walleyes. For, for this YouTube channel, for Frostbite's YouTube channel, we need you guys to comment below and let us know what you want to see, what you don't want to see, and... If I hear one comment about Aaron in the comments, I'm going to delete this whole channel, so don't test me. I'm just going to say, you're setting them up. We want Aaron. We don't want you clowns. Don't test me. I will delete the channel and burn down all of our inventory, and there will be no more frostbite. I can't take these comments. They're so mean. What we have here is Cisco's, you know, just Cisco's all over the place. And I like it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, whoa, it did get kind of light outside now. Yeah. We have light. There's the quad. Slay, a little flip over. And then our setup in here. Hopefully we catch a fish. If we don't catch a fish, you're not watching this. So if you're watching this, that means we're about to catch something. That's exciting. Been messing with me for a while down there. Like the whole whole time you were talking there with the camera, he was messing with me. Oh, oh there's another one down there too. Now nice. there's am, two fish down there. I'm tangled. Oh boy. Like. Oh yeah. He messed with me forever. It's not, it's not very big, like it's just a, a quality fish, it's not a monster. But it's definitely a good start. <laughs> big, golden, oh, look how fat they are, just ridiculous. Unbelievable. No bait. No bait. One zero. Yup, it is. Oh, you probably weren't recording yet. No, I was. Thanks, you're good. Fish is back. <laughs> This fish is definitely aggressive. And it's big. He ate it so soft, dude. So soft. It's not that big. It's not like, it's just probably like the last one. It's not that big. He ate it so soft. That was crazy. <laughs> Nothing to it. Munch, straight up. How fat they are here. You know what? This one, uh, I think, is going to be a supper fish for us. 
in this video series, I forgot to mention, we're trying to catch fish on different rods. What was that? Is that fish okay? You want to release him? <laughs> I'm not healthy! So, I'm going to ask you now, because so, oh, I forgot to ask you when you caught your first fish, to change up your rod. So, we've got the run and gun checked off our list. You want me to change up my rod? I know it sounds ridiculous. But if, if, okay, if we do that, where if I switch after every fish I catch, there's a good chance you're using the same rod all day. <laughs> really? Oh, okay. I'll do it. Okay. What, um, so running gun was your first choice. Running what? gun is, running gun is definitely one of my first choices for walleye. I do like the long rod. Everybody always says, you don't need a 50 inch rod. It absorbs big fish head shakes, period. You can't get away with a rod like this in a flip over shelter, but you can in a hub shelter. I like it. I got the smoke you show. You know what? I'm, I'm running the True Grit because with the True Grit, I do like the bigger dinner bell still, and I don't want to give this up yet, so I'm going to go to the True Grit now. If I had to choose between the drench and the digger, though, if I was going out for a dead stick rod for walleye, it would be the drench every day. How about, and the dipstick is. The dipstick is good uh, for smaller walleye dead sticks. I did catch some 28 and 29 inches on it last year because the, at that point I never had the drench. Yeah, you can't have every rod in the water at all times because we do make 36 models. <laughs> do you want to go crazy and order all 36 models off this video? I would probably personally come to your house, so let that be known. You like, know that's going to happen now. That is literally going to happen. Dude, 36 rods is... There's a fish down there. I'll, I'll drop down ooh, and get him. Ooh. He's coming to you. D you know what? You're going to get this fish because I'm not down there. And that's a nice mark, dude. That's a nice mark. Oh, he's coming straight to you. He's going to eat. Yes! Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, I knew it. You made me switch rods. I don't think it's on. You. Yes. Well, now we're knocking out the smoke show right now. Fish that's up. why you made me switch rods, hey? That's another supper fish. Another supper fish. That's a really good fish for you. <laughs> Dinner bell is gone. And my first walleye of the morning. Fish number three. Now what rod are you going to? So we've knocked out the smoke show. We've knocked out the running gun. What else do we have? True, true, grit. true grit and the drench. Okay. I'm going to go with the drench. Just Actually, I'm going to go with the true grit. And have a fish Face off. off. <laughs> yes. Face off. Yes. Face off. All right, guys. We've knocked out a couple rods now. And we're just going to go over our favorite walleye rods in this video really quick and then hopefully end it with a bang and a bigger fish. So the first fish Clayton you or pff, first fish. The first rod Clayton started with was the running gun. And if you're fishing outside and obviously running and gunning. Yeah, like the running gun for me is outside and then like I said in a big hub shelter like this where you can stand up and fish and have lots of space. When you have a rod that just like bends so far into the blank it just absorbs all of the big fish head shakes. I've caught multiple big fish with it and it honestly is my favorite rod I just don't tend to use it a lot because I'm usually fishing a lot of tighter spaces so that's our longest rod that we make it's a medium and yeah running gunning outside then it goes down to the two staples probably the biggest staple which is what we're using right now we're doing a true grit face off the true grit as like the rod I started with when I first started fishing with the frostbite rods and it's been really good since the beginning of time and then from here you go down to the smoke show which is a little bit lighter so it's like almost like a, a little sister to this one the true grits a medium and then the smoke shows a medium light use your little bit bigger bigger baits on the true grit and then you're like medium to smaller baits on the smoke show is what i do anyway perfect explanation and those are our two staple walleye rods i would say is the true grit and the smoke show and then there's one or actually there's a lot more than one yeah. and then we have two rods that mimic the True Grit and Smoke Show, except they're smaller in length. So we have the Meat Locker, which is a 31-inch medium light, and then a Slap Shot, which is a 32-inch medium. So the Slap Shot is essentially the True Grit, except smaller, and the Meat Locker is the Smoke Show, except smaller, if that makes sense. So we did want to make two rods for those guys that are requesting them to fish, you know, in shacks, really tight quarters. Snow bears. Like, if you're, if you're bears. fishing, yeah, like Alex says, in something that's like you don't have a lot of room, they're, they're a shorter rod with a really good action on them still. If you are if you have room, I'm going to push you towards a True Grit or a Smoke Show, though, because you just have a little bit extra rod to absorb more head shakes. 
but if you have tight quarters, the, the slap shot and the meat locker, excellent choices for sure. So that's kind of the whole runaround of our series. Um, we're not going to be using the smaller rods in this video because, like like Clayton just said, if we, we want to use the longer rods because that's what we like to use and that's what we would suggest, but we wanted to make those smaller rods just in case... Yeah, there was requests for them, so that's why we made them. The drench. The drench, yeah. The drench. The last the drench. rod that we want to mention is the drench, and that is our dead stick rod. You just made this one la end of last year or beginning of this year? Last year. Last year. Last year, okay. So the drench is like your ultimate dead stick rod for walleye. Now you can get away with it with a jigging spoon and whatnot too if you're gonna if you want to buy one rod, say you want for dead sticking and for an active bait, it will work for an active bait. The biggest thing is the drench is a fiberglass rod, so it bends a little bit farther into the blank, and that really pays off when you have a dead stick down there and your fish picks the bait up. He doesn't feel anything and you can see the rod start to go, which gives you time to grab it and finish your hook set. You, like I said, you can still use it as an active rod too, but where it really comes in handy is that really like that with the fiberglass and a little bit load further into the blank. Think fiberglass, look further into the blank, good for dead sticking. The other rods that we mentioned, graphite, just a little bit more sensitive to feel your bait and feel your spoons a little bit more. Okay. Yes. Are I, you kidding me? So it turns out you can just dead stick a dinner bell and it works. <laughs> like. <laughs> Is it big? No, it's it's not big. This is a good fish for you. Like a really good fish for you. You know what else this is a good fish <laughs> for? Fish tacos. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're going to open up a taco stand yeah, for this like video. Fish tacos right here. Love it. Clayton Chick, one of the most legendary YouTube walleye fishermen out there, and hopefully you guys are enjoying this little walleye beatdown we're doing. I say little because we're going to hopefully end this video with a bang and stick it out and catch. Hopefully. We are on a big fish spot right now. It doesn't mean we're going to catch a big fish. Obviously, it is fishing, and it is walleye fishing, which they can do weird things, but we do have a good chance at a big fish. I will say that. Let's get back to it. Oh, big fish, big fish, big fish. He came charging in. He came for a second, yeah. I don't know how big he is, actually. Oh, we didn't want it. It's like a good one. It's hard to tell. He's so fast. Oh, yeah. I hit his tail. Alright. Is that like back or this is a different one here on me now? It's coming to you. Looks like the same fish, kind of. Like, same size, anyway. Not a boy. Not a boy. Yeah, it's a little better. Bigger. Nice oh, maybe not. Nice work. Nice Let's work. Let's go. Put your camera over there. Okay. My first one on the true grit. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, he's a little bit nicer. A little bit nicer right there. Deadly. All right. Fills that 10 inch hole. Just smashing this morning. It's got to be Cisco's, right? Oh, no, it's a bite. It's a big bite, too. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. eat it. Got him. Now the question is, Alex, if we're going to land him. We got him to eat, but we only have six pound tests, so it's going to be, are we going to catch this fish? But we just hooked into a pipe. <laughs> it was so cool to watch him up high. It's right here. It's not that big. Not that big. Oh, up here. Uh, they just jump out of the hole for me. Like I prefer to catch them like that, you know? That way it's much easier to know 
if you're going to keep your bait or not. You just tell him to jump out. He's a little bit full of slush because he did jump out of the hole funny. Well, that was easy. Thanks for playing, but we'd prefer some walleye right now. You were fun, though. I don't want to get everything wet. See ya. Um, 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 um,